Making friends on self-improvement might be the hardest part about it. If you clicked on the video, you're already on the right path. You guys are looking how to make friends on self-improvement. Well, the fact that you guys have the awareness is the first step. So congratulations. Woo, let's go guys. Big win for you. Celebrate it. This is definitely something that I have been challenged with as well. And it's not something that I have all the answers for with you guys, but I want to kind of explain some stories, share some stories, go over some things that I think can help you guys. Uh, and ultimately, you know, try to improve the relationships in your life. So let's give this a go. So as you get deeper on self-improvement, you start to realize that some of your friends aren't on the same page as you. You might be very focused on reading your books, doing some journaling, or you're going to the gym. You're trying to get big. Now, it's very good that you're on this track of self-improvement, but the biggest challenge with it is the people that you have associated with you, the people that are in your circle. And for a lot of you guys, I know my audience is younger. We have a lot of young men in here. You know, m most young men are playing video games every day. They are addicted to pornography, right? They're obsessed with women. They're, they're not thinking long term. They're not trying to build a business. They're not trying to build their physique. Things that I know you guys are working on. So with that, so with that comes challenges because the people that you have around you create who you are. Right, there's the saying, you are the combination of the five people you spend the most time with. Well, if you're spending time with your friends that aren't on self-improvement, it can affect you in a negative way, it can drag you down. So what you wanna do is you wanna avoid those friends, essentially, right? Most likely you're gonna have to avoid them. Ideally, you can talk to them about self-improvement and they're like, oh wow, th thank you so much. You're a good friend, you know, that they're getting on the same same path as you guys. Uh, but sometimes people don't want to improve and it's not our job to be self-improvement missionaries. We're not trying to go out there and be like, hey, hey, you, you need to meditate. People can live their lives, you know, as long as they're living peacefully, not affecting others, you know, they can do them, we'll do us. So with that, I want to talk to you guys about how to make friends that are on self-improvement that are a positive influence in your life. So number one, what to look for. You got to look for potential. You're looking for potential in the person. Okay, this is a person that, you know, they're very friendly to you. They're very caring. They're kind. They're open, honest, you know, just positive qualities that you're looking for in a high quality friend. You know, this goes for men, this goes for women, significant others, you know, whatever type of relationship it might be, you're obviously looking for these, these key qualities in a person. Find people with a positive self image. Look for people that have similar goals, similar hobbies, right? These are things that you guys should know, things that I probably don't need to go too deep into detail on, but just, just be open-minded to the type of people that you're meeting don't be restricted by race or by age, you know, especially age guys. Like I, I go to the gym and I, I go, I'll swim laps and then I'll chill in the hot tub afterwards. And there's some boomers in there and I'll chat with the boomers. And you know, like, like my man, Bob, Howard, Dwayne, you know, shout out all those guys. Like they're, they're chill. I'm like friends with them. You know, I talk to them. I talk to them about the channel guys. I share the channel with them. I talk about my nine to five my personal relationships, things I have going on. And it's very nice because they have a lot of wisdom to offer me. They're like, man, like you're doing the right thing. Like, man, if I was 25, like at your age, like the mindset you have and like, you know, your purpose, like, man, like, you know, they, they give me like some good advice for like, you know, stay on this path, you know, don't, don't be distracted. Don't, don't fall into the instant gratification. Right. And had I never been open-minded to the fact that, Hey, these guys are a little bit older than me, but you know, I'm not going to let that d deter me from actually talking with them, striking up a conversation. Turns out it was actually very beneficial for both of us. You know, I, I share my knowledge with them. You know, shout out all the real ones still watching the video. I shared about icing their balls. You know, some I've been doing this whole video, guys. I really live my raps. I, I do this for real. Feels great. And I tell them about that. I share this knowledge with them in the hot tub. They're like, wow, like. Really? I had no idea like the hot tub was like killing my sperm or like taking away my energy levels, lowering my energy. I'm like, yeah, man, like 
try us in your balls you know dick you do cold showers like you should try some cold showers man like i see you in the locker room like just just turn it cold when you're in there when you're about to head out super grateful right so glad that i talked to them it's because i didn't let the age restrict me from meeting a new person from from opening up this new avenue right so the second thing is where to find these friends now it's going to be places that you enjoy going to right and i think for someone who's starting out on self-improvement or if you're not like like i've been on self-improvement for about four years now so i kind of have like a good idea of of how these things work and operate um, but I, like for you guys, like I'm assuming a lot of you guys are younger. You're still in school. Like there's clubs that you can join. I know it's about to be summer vacation. So maybe you can look into like a gym membership. If you don't have a gym, uh, going to the park, you know, like spending time in nature. Cause the, the thing is guys, the people that are at those places, like the gym and the park, like they enjoy fitness. Like they enjoy spending time in nature. That's exactly what you're looking for. Like those people that you see outside, like those are the ones you want to be friends with, right? The people in your school, they're kind of like forced to be there. They have to be in the classroom with you. They don't really want to be there. If they could, they would just be in their room playing video games, watching porn, doing this bad stuff. It's like you would never meet that Jeffrey out in the real world someone who actually enjoys fitness or spending time in nature to go to the gym or go to the park think about that think about certain clubs that you guys are interested in if you guys are trying to you know learn a new skill or a hobby uh cooking classes i'm sure are great to meet girls as well if you guys are trying to find women could probably talk about that another video so i know you guys you guys love your women <laughs> anyway i do i digress so Go to places that you genuinely enjoy spending time at and places that people will share similar interests and hobbies as you, right? Simple as that, guys. Go to the library, find people that like to read. Don't be restricted by age or race or any other thing. Just be open-minded and accepting of people and you're going to find high quality relationships. So our third point for you guys that do have the relationships, once you get it started, how to sustain it. Uh, it's really just two main things. One, you want to check in with them. Like, hey, how is your well-being? Like, are you doing okay? It's, you know, it's been a little bit. Like, how's life been? You know, like, like genuinely be interested in them. You know, take interest in people. And then also, make sure you guys are planning events. When I was younger, it was really easy to feel like I was being left out of certain things. When in reality, they probably just didn't invite me because I wasn't actually, like, planning events of my own. Hey guys, I'm gonna go to the park, go to the gym, you know, using the same examples, like, like, you know, shoot them a text, you know, ask them if they wanna hang out. That's how you can sustain the relationship. So uh, for, for all the real ones who watch up to this point, the golden rule of friendship is a person needs to enjoy spending time with you in order for them to like you, right? Mind blowing stuff, I know, right guys? If you want to make friends, they need to feel good around you. So make sure that you're bringing positive energy. Make sure you're smiling. You're giving off good vibes. These are the things that people are going to go like, oh, wow, like that person, like he was very charismatic. Like I, he made me feel good. Like I want to, everyone wants to feel good guys. Like they're going to hit you up again. You'll find a new friend. You make plans, go hang out and so on. Everyone lives happily ever after. <laughs> Join the more than men discord. If you're looking for good friends.